now we shall talk about or we shall try to understand how the news agency evolved in india that is a historical overview of news agencies in india now before the earliest news agencies in india that actually existed before independence they were the united press of india we had the free press news agency and then we had the associated press of india which is actually a, a subsidiary of reuters uh, which is one of the biggest news agencies of the world and that belongs to britain and associated press of india which is shortly sh in short form we known as api it was founded by k c roy and it was indeed the first indian news agency and as such k c roy is very popularly known as a father of indian news agency journalism now in 1915 associated press of india it was later acquired by reuters uh, which belongs to great britain by the way and uh, since at at that point of time i'm talking about 1915 90s early 19s uh, india was under the british rule so api dominated the scene for a very very long time because you know api was acquired by reuters and reuters belonged to great britain so and since india was under the british rule at that point of time so uh, its presence was very much seen at that point of time the presence of api now then the upi the united press of india and the free press news agency they were actually formed by the indian nationalist who were dissatisfied the coverage given by the api because at that point of time no mostly since india was under the british rule so the api they hardly used to cover you know certain you know uh, news stories uh, which focus on india's freedom struggle or the news stories which focused on india's you know nationalist that the flavor so they hardly used to cover because they were quite scared that if they used to if they would focus on such kind of news stories and maybe you know the general public or the general people you know would rise up against a or while a british government so the coverage was very minimum so as such what happened there were a lot of nationalist leaders at that point of time and they were not very much happy that what api was doing you know the role that api was playing so what did they do they combined or they formed upi and the free press news agencies and because after forming them they tried to focus on those issues which were not covered by api now after in india gain independence okay what happened api was transferred into the indian hands and a new news agency that is a press trust of india was formed in 1948 so after independence the scenario completely changed okay and in 1961 the united news of india was formed okay but upi however it collapsed in 1958 so that was the end of upi now this different news agencies they were english language agencies and the indian newspapers they translated all agency copies before editing and publishing the news because most of the since most of these news agencies they used to you know kind of collect and uh, you know edit news stories only in english language so the different media organizations most specifically indian newspapers that used to translate the different uh, copies which have been sent by different news agencies into the regional languages before they edited and they published and the first indian language news agency was hindustan samachar and after hindustan samachar another important indian language news agency came into the fore that was samachar bharati now in 1975 emergency was declared in the country we all know that what happened then then all the other four agencies we have uni we have pti we have uh, the hindustan samachar as well as the samachar bharati they were merged this four news agency was merged together and then a new agency was formed that was samacha was formed but you know after the emergency was over this four news agencies uni pti hindustan samachar and samacha bharti they became separate again hindustan samachar and samachar bharti they could not sustain themselves for a long period of time so ultimately they had to close down but pti and uni they they were actually able to sustain the long run and there are 
two major news agencies of our country at the present moment, making their presence felt not only in India, but across the length and breadth of the different countries across the world. And PTI's Hindi language service, that is known as Bhasha, and UNI's Hindi service, known as Varta, they are the major Hindi language news agencies in India at the present moment. So this was in brief about how the news agencies evolved in our country. Now let us try to understand some of the important news agencies across the world. We have talked about you know how we have UNI in India, we have PTI and uh, we have the different Hindi versions of UNI and PTI and this, uh, this news agencies have been doing a commendable job as far as the dissemination news stories is concerned in the context of India. Now, if we look at a world scenario, how are the other news agencies performing in different countries? Now, across the world, there are a number of other news agencies. There might be bigger news agencies, there are small news agencies. But some of the important news agencies which we will be discussing today, they are the Reuters of United Kingdom, that is Reuters of Britain. We have the agency France Press of France. We have the Associated Press of America and then we also we have the United Press International from United States of America. So these are some of the important agencies. Apart from that, there are also other agencies, but we won't talk about all the agencies. Just a few important agencies we'll be talking today, we'll be discussing today. Now, uh, let us try to understand. The first one is the Agency France Press. Now, AFP in short form, uh, it was actually founded in 1835 by Charles Louis Havas under the name of Agency Havas. And this is the world's oldest news agency and one of the world's top three news agencies. Initially what happened, this particular news agency, they used to have traditional news distribution methods. Okay, They used to you know, use different pigeons, they used to use horse-drawn carriages and coaches and also they used to use mounted couriers to transfer the different news stories. Then the invention of the telegraph changed everything. After telegraph was invented in 1845, it gave this particular news agency its first taste of modern news transmission and it quickly became a primary new means of distribution throughout France and across Europe as well. And by the end of this first decade, this particular agency was already an international name. It, it was like well known across the world. And at the present context, if you ask me, this particular news agency employs, you know, like 200, 300 photographers. It has, you know, around 2,000 of reporters and more than like 3,000 strangers located over in, in 160 countries. And each day, the company distributes more than 2 million words okay, in French as well as in English, in German, in Spanish, in Portuguese and Arabic. Another important news agencies of which we would like to talk about is the Reuters. Now Reuters it was started as a very small news agency in a small room in Paris by Paul Julius Reuter. He was actually a German by birth. Um, in, in in 1940s and he started this Reuters uh, with the help of his wife uh, in 1940s which is a small room in Paris and uh, in 1950 uh, Paul Julius Reuter he moved to London and by 1960 he had already established you know himself as a chief supplier of foreign news stories to almost every newspaper in Britain and of uh, news from Britain to newspapers in other countries so gradually, uh, what exactly he started from a small room in Paris that actually branched out to every part of the, uh, you know, the country of Great Britain and slowly to the rest of the euro. Of course, at the present moment, you know, Reuters is something that we associated with uh, a, a big, you know, news organization, a big news agency that supplies news to almost every, you know, single uh, news channels or maybe to every single you know, a print media organization across the world. And it has, at the present moment, Reuters has risen to become the largest international multimedia news agency, reporting extensively from around the world on a wide variety of topics. 
but its special areas lies in financial news so stories and then uh, with 90% of its revenue coming from this financial news services there is another important uh, news agency that is associated press or ap now associated press was formed in 1948 and uh, it is basically a cooperative non profit making corporation and its entire source of revenue is subscription by members basically ap is owned by about like 1500 us daily newspaper members and it has more than 5000 employees working in more than you know 300 plus worldwide bureaus and it supplies a steady stream of news across the, around the clock to a domestic to its different domestic members to its uh, international subscribers as well as commercial customers then we have the united press international or upi now upi was formed in 1907 by e w scripps under the name of united press and by the year 1921 uh, united uh, up eroded ap's hold on the european newspaper market and it began servicing newspapers in cologne frankfurt and vienna and uh, you know in 1922 united press began servicing newspapers in the asian mainland as well so gradually you know uh, this particular news agency it tried to expand its services not only from america to europe and to other asian countries as well then we have the press coming back towards home we have the press trust of india now as i've just said about uh, the pti is one of the india's largest news agency in the country and it is basically a non profit sharing cooperative owned by the country's newspapers and the subscribers of pti it includes more than like 500 newspapers in india and other you know more than 200 other newspapers abroad and almost all the major tv radio channels in india other several from abroad it receives a pti service it has a staff of about 1300 people including 400 journalists so and it it's different bureaus are not only located in the country but also across different major cities of the world like beijing dhaka jerusalem johannesburg islamabad kathmandu kuala lumpur london and so on and so forth now let us come to on the important news i won't say news agency but it's a news service of pti it is a bhasha bhasha is a hindi language news service of pti and uh, its its own network is in the hindi speaking states and which it draws on pti files and it, it puts out about you know 40000 words per day it is such a vibrant you know new service of pti then we have the united news of india or uni uni was launched in march 1961 and it has grown to be one of the biggest or largest news agencies in asia it not only covers uh, you know news stories relating to the field of politics to field of economics to the field of social or society it also provides subscribers with a rich choice in features interviews and human interest stories un has more than 100 subscribers in more than 100 locations across the length and breadth of the country as well as in other major cities abroad and they include different newspapers radio and television networks there are websites and uh, you know there are different government offices and private and public sector corporations as well and uni has more than 300 plus staff journalists across the country and more than you know like 350 to 400 strangers covering news events from remote corners of the country so you can actually see how this particular news agency has grown up by leaps and bounds then we have the asian news international ani now ani was launched in the year 1975 by mr prem prakash he is a pioneering a tv journalist and uh, it's one of the south asia's actually leading multimedia news agencies with over 200 bureaus in india 
South Asia and across the globe. And its range of products encompasses loosely edited news feeds and other customized programs for television channels, audio bytes for radio stations, there are live webcasting as well as streamed meet multimedia, there is text content, etc. Now, this also includes provision of profession crews, they have editing and post production facilities as well. Then we have the Indo Asian News Service, that is INS. Now, Indo Asian News Service, it was formerly it was known as the India Abroad News Service. It was started in 1986 uh, to act as an information bridge between the India as well as between North America. It chronicles the growing ethnic business as well as cultural links and uh, just like other news agencies even Indo Asian news service also it covers you know thousands of uh, you know areas not only in India but also in other major cities across the world. It has actually carved a niche for itself not only reporting news stories from the subcontinent of India but it also tries to you know you know focus on the large Indian diaspora that is spread across the world. And their team of journalists they produce a steady outfit of uh, you know news features, analysis, you know, and other commentaries. Then you have Dosche Press Agent Tour, that is the DPA. It's the largest press agency in Germany. It's a news agency basically in Germany and it was founded in the year 1949. And uh, the main office of DPA is Hamburg and it is going to be a major worldwide operation serving print media, radio, television, online, mobile phones and national news agencies. Now finally we come to the last segment of our discussion today that is the editing wire copy. Now why a lot of importance is given on editing wire copies? We can just you know collect news stories, we can just you know edit the news or simply we can just publish them we can broadcast them so why should we actually focus on editing it or why should we focus on editing why copy this is because you know we need to base our different news stories on the aspect of objectivity as well as authenticity editing because doing something in a haphazard way will actually you know bring down the quality of the news stories so one must be actually very much careful in editing a news story more specifically a wire copy and a person is actually responsible the person is actually responsible for editing the different news stories for handling the different wire copies is known as the wire editor now besides not only looking after the different normal other processes of copy editing the wire editor also has a few other important responsibilities as well. So the wire editor, first of all, he has to filter through the different, because each and every day, different lot of news stories come into the offices of different media organizations of other different news news agencies. So they have to, you know, kind of, you know, uh, separate those news stories which they find, you know, to be very much important to be published, or those news stories which is very important to be broadcast. And they will separate the other less important news stories in the, you know, side. And apart from the very important events that cannot be eliminated, so why did he what he should do or he she should do? So he or she should also look for those stories that present inspiring features, eliminate social trends, as well as offer clear analysis of complicated issues or stories that are of particular local interest that's connected in some way or the other to the community. Now comes to the actual process of editing the copy. Now suppose the newspaper is subscribing to more than one wire service, which most newspapers they do because they don't stick to only one particular news wire service. Then the wire editor has to compare the copies for the same news sent by different agencies to check the in for inconsistency of facts. Because you know if one particular news agency will send some copy and the, the information is a little bit different, another news agency will send another new reporting uh, to the same news stream but the copy is a little bit different and the matter content in that particular news story is different so then the wire editor will have to check both the news stories because if there is inconsistency of facts so that has to be eliminated and that has to be properly looked into 
and it's also very much important for the wire editor to remember that wire information is a first step it's not the final say it actually must be supplemented whenever it's possible with first hand details from people in the field and details have to be verified so verification is very important every step needs to be verified you can't just put you know you you can't that you just can't take some kind of news from an anonymous source and you just put it in the particular news story and just disseminate it that is not how uh, edi uh, editing or how uh, you know a news copy is edited and sent to different news organizations verification is a must and sometimes when there is no information at all but only wire information available then the only way for the editor to actually come up with a good copy on the only way for a wire editor to verify the facts is to treat the wire story as just a fact sheet arranged in prose form so uh, finally we have come to the end of today's discussion so so far we have tried to understand what a news agency is we have tried to un you know understand the the role and functions of a news agency how the different news agency uh, evolved in india and a, you know a brief overview of some important news agencies across the world mm -hmm. and also how a wire copy is made it and why a lot of importance is given to a wire copy so with this we have come to the end of our today's online discussion thank you all so much <laughs>